Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today, following the first part, well, was it a year ago? Of the episode about the tramway de la Sarthe twin cam locomotives, we'll take a look at the three survivors' story and their situation today. Two of them are tightly linked, and overall there isn't much known about their story. Our three survivors, as stated in the previous episode, are number 16, number 51, and number 60. It is quite surprising to see three locomotives of the same basic design and origin still existing, but their survival really is out of pure luck, as we'll see. As the story of the first and last is basically mostly the same, we'll start with number 51, the only example of the three that didn't almost get scrapped. Being from the second batch of machines, she's similar in all aspects to number 16, built in 1898 and operated until the company disappeared. There aren't any major events in her story, but she was recovered by an industrial railway and used there for a few decades. Similarly to the MTVS's TIV-75, she probably ended up extremely mechanically tired from all these years of hard work and hasn't been kept in running conditions since uh, retiring. She now is owned by the Sartre region, statically presented on a metric piece of track under a shed at the Transvap Museum and Heritage Railway um, in this same county. She has also been relatively crudely painted to represent her original livery. As far as I'm aware, there are no real plans for her in the near future, but it already is quite a good thing she survived at all. We'll now take a look at number 16 and number 60, which both had a more interesting story, especially the latter. When the Tremors de la Sarthe finally closed in 1947, Number 16 and number 60 were laid up in the main Le Mans Halls station, waiting to be sold either to other companies or to be scrapped. Quite some time passed, and when the station itself was demolished in 1954, the two locomotives were brought to a scrapper's yard also located in the same town. Surprisingly enough, they stayed there, waiting to be dismantled for at least two decades as it is said the owner felt some kind of attachment to these two machines, and he just couldn't get himself to scrap them. This means they were now completely abandoned, subject to weather conditions and time itself. By the 1970s they were now lost in overgrown woods. When it seemed there was no hope left, British rail funds took notice of those locomotives, and the information made its way to a small group of enthusiasts from Paris. As a result of this, in 1976, the locomotives were salvaged and brought up in the defunct Beaudry sur Oise departmental railways depot, actually sparking the creation of the MTVS Railway Museum. The conditions were quite harsh at first, as the depot had been used for abuses for quite some time, and tracks and other railway equipment were missing. The locomotives were placed on the ground, as there were no tracks or maintenance pit to work from. Number 60 was then classed as historical monument in 1983, actually being the first steam locomotive in France to receive that honor. Two TS carriages also got that title at the same time. Our locomotive was then restored to operating condition from 1987 to 1990 by a private contractor. That being done, she has been a true gem for the Heritage Line since, operating without issues and passing each new revision with success. The distinct looks of that machine made her quite a sight to see, and the museum used the TS passenger carriages they have to accompany her in the trips along the Butry line, 
which culminated at around a one kilometer length. In the 80s and 90s, everything went for the best for the museum, and in 2003, number 16 was cosmetically restored to a lyric close, to that of number 16. In 2007, however, borders fell down on the track, cutting it from about 500 meters in length. The museum was now locked by increasing housing mystic pressure, in the region indeed, and had really no new plans for the future. After around 20 years of research, however, a new location near Beauvais appeared, in which the first operation on a very short line were taken by the CDN 36 Lulu and TIV 75. Number 60 were then brought there after a major overhaul to replace both of them, and especially Lulu, which had her boiler take it run out, and has since been the mascot, the new train à vapeur du Beauvaisis. This new operation brought new hopes to the volunteers, and line today is some 4 km in length, on which the small train locomotive from 1898 runs about twice a month. She is now, with her very good reliability, the main steam motive power of the museum. For now at least, until more powerful machines come back from overhauls or restoration. There also are a few honorable mentions of restored stock from the TS. Three second-class bogey passenger cars that are actually now housed at the Train du Baberi. And as we said earlier, uh, two second-class two-axle passenger cars, um, which are housed at the MTVS. All of these cars are currently operating and have the historical monument status. There ends, for now, the story of the surviving twin cab locomotives from the Tramway de la Sarthe. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And now we are on to another one, hopefully before June 2023. Goodbye folks, and see you soon.